Hi, I promised to film a, a video talking about training weapons. So that's what I'm going to do now. We're going to talk about the different options that are available to you and the pros and cons of those options. Now, the first thing that we're going to talk about is steel swords. Now, there's a bit of a movement in HEMA that says steel is best. And in some ways, it very much is. But what we have to look at are the pros and cons of that and see if they apply to us. The thing about steel, it looks good, it feels good, it makes a lovely noise. That's brilliant. And in some systems, for example, a Lichtenauer longsword, any of the Germanic styles, so I-33, the bind is a very important part. It's integral to the system and being able to feel that bind and manipulate it to your advantage is absolutely huge in terms of getting competent at that system. And the bind, the way the swords move against each other is very different when you change the material of the swords, when you move from steel to nylon or to wood. However, in English backsword, that bind is a much, much smaller part of what we do. It's important to us to a degree, but because firstly this is a single-handed system, we don't have that leverage that you get with having two hands on the hilt of a sword, and so the bind becomes much less of an option. So at that point, the importance of the material is slightly less. And with that in mind, it's worth bearing in mind that a decent steel sword, this is made by Peter Regnier, um, makes some fantastic stuff at very reasonable prices, but steel is always more expensive than the other materials that are available. Now, things that we have used as training weapons in the past are broom handles, cut down to an appropriate length, get a padded glove on, it'll do. It's not brilliant by any stretch of the imagination, but you have to start somewhere. So that's where we started. Then we moved on to standard single-handed sword wasters, the kind of thing you get from Purple Heart. Very good for what they are, they're very sturdy, they'll last you a lifetime if you look after them. They're not brilliant, they're a little bit heavy, they don't have a hilt, so you're going to get hit on the hand. So at that point, we started looking at modifying either hazel wands, or dowels, or even cut down shin eye and adding a pseudo basket hilt to them. You can buy SCA hilts, you can have custom made metal ones, you can cut down your own from uh, the balls used in, in water systems. You can do anything you want. You can get traditionally made leather ones or even wicker ones and they're very historically accurate for late English backsword. And they would tend to be used with either an ash pole or a hazel pole to give you a nice training weapon. However, it, they're pretty tricky to get hold of, and with any wooden blade, they're much more prone to breakages. So the best compromise, in my opinion, I wouldn't worry, it's just a rapier that I dropped. They don't count. The best compromise, in my opinion, are these. This is the Night, Sword, Night Shop single-handed, basket-hilted sword. They're part of the Rawlings range. A small group of us helped develop these. The guys from the night shop, uh, Matt from Scholar Gladiatoria, myself and a couple of other people helped design this and get this right. The weight's pretty good. They've got a hilt and they're relatively cheap. The nice thing about them is that you can take them apart. So if a bit breaks, you can simply buy that bit and put it back together again. What I tend to do is I buy the longer blades and I cut down the handle because that gives me a slightly longer blade, more appropriate for my stature. So if you want to use steel, that's brilliant. If you want to use wooden swords, that's brilliant too. If you want to use plastic synthetic swords, that's great. The most important thing is that you understand the principles of the system that we're, we're using. In an ideal world, you train with synthetics, you train with wood, and you train with steel, and you'd see how they differed, and you'd become aware of that and work that into your system. This idea of triangulation is not new. 
We can't safely fight with sharp swords. So we must practice in a way that maintains our safety. And in doing so, we change the way that they react. So the more different options we use, the better, the closer we'll get to the real thing. But if you're only going to go for one thing, go for these. I'm not on commission, I get nothing for it, but the night shop spend a lot of time and money developing products specifically for HEMA and most of the things that they do are very good. They're certainly the best value for money you can get. So, I'll stop talking now and I'll see you around.